Johnny. Yeah. Look what we got. Darren in between us from Northwest Imports. We're here on the Axis 225. I gotta tell you, we could be more excited about this boat. There certainly are boats that might be fancier, might have like a finer finish, but when you look at like dollar for performance, and wave this boat it's just hard to beat this is what we're doing our lessons on this year i gotta tell you stick around to the end of this because i think it's going to make your hair curl johnny we're going to load this thing up get the big dog wave and show you what the axis can do sounds great let's do it new a225 this boat's totally redesigned from the previous model which was the a22 so they made it a little bit bigger a little bit taller and then just added some really cool features in this boat start back here little pop-up pylon for tubing if you want to water ski behind this boat it works great for that and then it just pops away um, nice big step-ins this is a little bit similar to last year's boat but big storage compartments if you don't have the ballast totally full warming tray so keep your towels nice and warm your wetsuits your life vest right there nice and warm super easy in and out access for storage so it's okay to put things on top of those bags oh yeah lighter stuff like wetsuits life jackets stuff like that that's what i throw back there in my boat all the time this new vinyl for this year so it's all what they call cool touch vinyl doesn't get as hot in the sun so that way tim you were able to do a little bit of a darker interior um, it's not going to get nuclear hot on you and burn your skin off. Climbing into the boat here, you got your rear bench slider. Slide that out. You can sit here, watch the action. But what I like it for is I'll slide it out and we'll do like lunch or dinner on this guy as like a table basically. New this year for this boat, all the seats are on hinges. Super easy to get into storage compartments. Got a kind of a designated cooler spot there, but looks like in Tim's boat, it's the rope and flag spot. That could actually go on the warming tray. Yeah, exactly. We outfitted Tim pretty heavily. This is like our Northwest package. So we got the heater on here. Pull out hoses, you got two of those and then a fixed vent for the driver as well. This boat runs a 5.3 direct injected motor. It's a Chevy based motor, but it's marinized by Malibu. Closed cooled, direct injected. And that closed cooling system, super easy to winterize. And then it also keeps your heater hot no matter what. If you're idling, just doing a little cruise, that heater's gonna blow warm air. Or if you're going fast too, sweet engine. Nice and quiet. Other features on this boat, we got Rev 10 tower speakers, Wet Sounds tower speakers. Nice big bimini that's gonna go forward with surfboard storage up above. These are aftermarket racks, which are sweet from Skylon. We do a lot of these on our customer boats. Um, they swivel to the inside of the boat. And then the clamping system is money. Great for foils, great for surfers, as you can see. Big bow in this A225, it's massive. All the room up here, Johnny, you and I can just chill, have fun up here, lots of room. We don't have to be all, you know, cuddly. Yeah, you could it's have good. a party up here. There. For sure, right? Big step right here, I love this for like loading people, like just bringing the boat in with the bow. People can step here, get into the boat really easily. Little trash can here, and then you got your wind block door. That goes in like that, close that off. Keeps everybody in the boat nice and warm. I got little kids, so I use this a lot as a baby gate. Last year, it's in every axis now. Um, you've got a Garmin touchscreen that's been around forever. Really, really easy to use. You have kind of duplicate buttons below that, start and stop button, and then your stereo is over here on the left side with a phone holder and charger above that some new features for this year you've got presets now so surf left surf right beginner wakeboarder advanced wakeboarder go home which i use a lot but when you select your surf left and you load that it's going to fill your ballast set your speed set your wedge so you're all ready to go and then you can kind of fine tune it from there if you want to but this is a great preset to start with for surfing the go home feature is killer if you're done for the day you just hit the go home load that it's going to empty your ballast stow your surf gate stow your wedge 
just kind of a one button and you're back to the dock. Well, Darren, that looks pretty killer. Now all we gotta do is ride it. Johnny, you ready to ride? I'm ready, Tim. All right, so what we're gonna ride, we're gonna be riding Armstrong WKT with the 1475 and a 235 tail to ride no ballast, just to kind of get it warmed up, see what we're doing. Then we're gonna go ahead and add ballast. We'll take our Armstrong setup from the 1475 down to the 1000 or the 1225 as we get a bigger wave. And then we're gonna be riding a liquid force space pod board, kind of middle of the road, intermediate board, just to see how it rides. Sweet, let's do it. Let's do it. So Darren, what I've been doing without ballast for foiling is I put the speed at 11.2. I take the wedge to number four when the rider's on the first wave and obviously hit it to the left side if we're riding on the left side. When this leads to a really clean, clean second wave, really nice experience. When the rider leaves the first to go to the second wave, I'm gonna go ahead and take the wedge to six and that steepens up that second wave for a great riding experience. Check it out. As you can see back there, plenty of power to foil. First wave, second wave, third wave. Just head on back, you know what I mean? We need, we need ready to, to ride this? Okay. The question is, are you ready to ride it? I don't know, I think so. Yes, sir. Darren, as you saw there, out there on the foil, first wave, second wave, third wave, no problem, cut the power, drift in, resonant wave, that's with no ballast. So now we're gonna put Johnny back here, no ballast, but we're gonna start filling it up. We're gonna take this thing to the big dog. So stay tuned, you're gonna love this. Switching this thing up to a typical wake surf wave, what are those settings? So I like to start wedge three. We'll go a little bit faster because Johnny's gonna foil right now, like 11.2, but most people will be 10.8 to 11 on the speed for the surf. Okay. But we'll bump it up a little bit. All right, so now we're full ballast, left side, wedge three. 
Yep. Hey Darren, what's Yo. that you have on your wrist? Oh, that would be your surf band. So you've got surf left and right, wedge up and down, speed up and down, and tunes, tower speaker volume up and down. Nice. So do you have to give the driver like a heads up that the wave's gonna change? You can if you want, but you don't have to. All right, let's do it. Let's get in. Darren, how are we doing? Awesome. All right. Well, we Johnny, got <laughs> I got to tell you, being able to switch my way back there is awesome. Like that one-to-one -one transfer, fully ballast up. You saw that's a nasty ride across. But when you know it, the exact timing it's coming, fun. That was on the second wave, and I could actually change my wave from all the way back there. Well, Johnny, I think you'd agree. That was some pretty fun riding we did out there. Unbelievable, Tim. <laughs> Completely unbelievable. I mean, we jacked that wave up, wake surfed it a little bit, had some big drops off the foils. Pretty fun. If you're a foiler, I know not everybody's a foiler, but man, you can go deep in this wave count, especially with ballast, but you certainly don't need ballast to ride it, which saves you a ton of money 
when it comes to gas. And so whether you're a foiler and you're going no ballast and riding, or you're a wake surfer and you want to jack that wave up so it's a lot of fun, or if you're just going out on the boat with the family, the nose of this boat, like the area at the front of this boat, unbelievable the space for storage the climbing up on the back it's just a really fun boat to be in tim this boat does everything you want it to do and a little bit more user friendly switches wake side to side perfectly you can dial the wave up down ballast no ballast i love it me too i think one of the biggest challenges is how do you take that wave and make it a little less radical because <laughs> you gotta be ready for that thing well tim oftentimes on radical waves every now and then when you come around to pick up the rider sometimes you'll swap the boat but not on this boat no has enough freeboard on the side and one of the reasons that drove like this selection for us we're here on lake washington Lake Washington has cruisers. It's got a bunch of other wake surf boats. If you're just out cruising with the family, even if you're not out surfing, you wanna have a nice high gunnel so you don't swap the boat on a day. But you know, when we're looking at when we're stealing waves from other boats that are passing by, that are throwing out big waves just like ours, it's nice to kind of be a dog and fight. You know what I mean? 100%. Tim, let's also not forget we're here with Darren. Darren. There's other Axis dealers maybe <laughs> out there in the country. Maybe. The best Axis dealer is right here in the PNW. So. Well, the thing I'll tell you about Darren, we've had several friends reach out to Darren and get their boats, one of which had a leak in the back, not due to the boat defect. Who got there within two hours? This, this guy. guy. It was just a small little adjustment needed to make for the fat sack. Darren has taken great care of our customers. I don't hesitate to recommend him to anybody. Thanks, boys.